I don't know whether it was by intent or by accident, but Savannah Swags over at Rosecraft Blades has designed probably one of the best pocket outdoor skinners you're going to find. So let's turn this around and take a look at the Rosecraft Pocket Monster. Well, 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 what have we here? This is the Rosecraft Blades Pocket Monster. And if it has some reminiscence of the Myalia and the more Myalia, well, there's a good reason. It's because it was designed by Swags. And I, she sent these to me. Savannah sent me a bunch of the Rosecraft stuff. And this was in there. And I saw it. I was like, oh, it's just a bigger Myalia. And then I saw the blade and I'm like, wow, this is something that as a country boy who did a lot of hunting, I absolutely can get behind. Uh, this is an outdoor skinning blade on this. And if you're into hunting and things like that, you can absolutely see why this would be so great. Skinning is a big endeavor and it requires a lot of work. And this thing is just great in hand. So you've got a really good feel. So you're looking at an AR RPM 9 skinning blade with a big forward finger choil done with these nice, nice, nice thumb studs. And if you like a front flipper, it's got a pretty good front flipper as well. What I really love about this is one, I'm a sucker for red and black. And I think, I think Savannah knows that. And she sent me this red version. It's attractive. It's got a black PVD coat on it. You can see it's got her uh, designer's mark on there. But this thing in and out of pocket has been great. My problem with the Maya Leah was it was too small. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It just never fit in my hand the way I want. It didn't fit in my pocket. I'm a big guy. This would come up out of my pocket. I tried carrying a watch pocket. Now, this is a great, great knife. I'm not going to argue, but you can see you've got that same really well done handle with the more Maya size factor, like the larger size factor but you've got a much better blade for what I would consider this knife to be great for. This just wasn't quite big enough. I have to send this off to Swags. This is for her. Um, I, the reason that I'm doing this right now is I'm doing a mail call, so I've got to get this sent out. So let's get this out of the way and keep talking about this. Now, a couple of the things that I really like about this, typically I like a good bit of weight reduction, but I'm going to tell you right now, in a shorter blade factor like this, having more weight in the tail gives it a better feel and it makes it feel more nimble, especially you got a little, you've got much less blade than you've got handle, especially when you're up in that choil. For skinning, that's going to make that really easy to control and manipulate. You've got this big rounded end back here that makes it, even though it's only like, a, it's like a three finger grip for me, it still feels good in hand because it swells up back there. It doesn't feel like it's slippery. If I get up in the choil, I've got more than a four finger grip, which is even more comfortable. And that just gives it a very good feel. As an outdoorsman, this is probably one of the better folding knives that's on the market for that factor. And it's really, really attractive. Now, it is in ARRPM9. I don't know how that does against materials such as flesh and things like that for a skinning knife, but it came incredibly sharp. And the nice thing about RPM9 is it's really easy, easy, easy to strop. So this was just a first day in pockets on this. Oh, pocket clip. I wanted to mention a pocket clip. It's a deeper carry cop. It's a deep carry pocket clip. And I've noticed that these pocket clips that have this transition where they're wider at the back don't typically bother me anywhere near as bad. It's like it distributes that across the area. It doesn't turn into a hot spot. And this is a very nice smaller knife for in pocket. So it carries really well up forward. I haven't really found anything I don't like about the knife yet. Um, it is kind of one of those knives that's going to be a limited functionality for a lot of people. This might not be a knife that a lot of people would gravitate to. And typically, I'm a big fan of more of a one-to-one -one blade to handle ratio. But in this, like I said, being kind of a skinning knife, you want a shorter blade. It's easier to control with small movements and things like that. When a blade starts to get too long, it feels awkward, especially for the small, fine tasks that you have to do when skinning. And I'm going to tell you right now, right there in that grip, I would skin a deer out with that in a heartbeat. So I have a couple friends that I'm going to send this off to for them to do real world testing in a hunt and see how it does as a skinning knife. And we'll get back to that. I will do my full review, but I want to send this off to guys that do elk and deer hunting and things like that, pig hunting, and see how they feel about it. So we'll 
come back to that and look at it in a future video. Guys, that's it on this one. Let's turn this around, do a couple final thoughts. I want to remind you, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. They are a channel sponsor. Freshly roasted coffee, roasted on demand, delivered to your door. No politics. They just take money and put it back into the business to make better coffee. Yeah, guys, like I said a couple times in the video, back when I was doing a lot of hunting and things like that, this would have been something I would have loved. This thing has got just a really good balance for what I would have wanted it for. The blade shape's just about perfect, and it's just about the right size to have really good control and detail work for, for skinning out an animal. Uh, like I said, I'm going to send this off to my buddy David Horstman, Hiking with a Viking. We're going to have him take a look at it and see how it performs on a hunt and see what he thinks of it. And we'll see. We'll hear back from him. So, guys, that's it on this one. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I would appreciate it. If you would like the videos, drop comments, interacting with the video, sharing it with people, things like that. That supports the channel and pushes up the algorithm. I do have ways for you to support it financially. Like I said, Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. But you can also go visit Tempered Trail. They both share a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, all one word, saves you 5% at checkout. Um, and if you want to support it a different way, I have got an Amazon store down below that is pinned in the comments. You can take that, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping that you want to do, and it doesn't cost you anything. It supports the channel. And I do have a membership here on YouTube that is tier-based. All of the members have access to my Gilded server. The baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways of things like this that come in from companies that I give away to them that's separate of stuff that I give away on YouTube. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. And as I do some members exclusive content that everyone gets as well. So guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.